Hi, everybody. Apologies. We had a bit of a technical glitch. We are here now. Uh, thank you, Renier. If you can please share your screen. And then you can start as soon as you are ready. Can you hear sound, everybody? Is there sound now? Can everyone hear me now? Just type the yes or no. Yes, we can hear you now. Thank you. Apologies. I do apologize. I was busy. My phone was connected to the sound. So, all right. Okay. Kahisu Mason. Uh, right. You go, boys and girls. Need to quickly get me up to speed. Mammy is somewhere down there in cyberspace. She cannot connect. So, I'm going to do. Um, this particular uh, one with you. I hear you are busy with a particular question. Um, can someone just quickly bring me up to speed so that I can um, get to that particular question that, that we can get going with this one. We are currently a bit behind schedule. Everyone, anyone? Kahiso, Mason, Treslin, are you there? Anyone there? Hello? Can you hear me? I'm going to unmute you so you can also talk to me. Kahisu, I've unmuted you. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. All right, good. Kahisu. I'm here as well. Uh, bring us up to speed on uh, uh, what she's busy with you at this particular stage. Raislin, you're also unmuted. Mason, I'm also going to unmute you. All right, Mason, you've missed the previous class, so that's fine. Doesn't worry about that. Um, you guys were busy with an exemplar of some sort. Can you verify that for me? Mason, I um, not exactly. Our teacher didn't give us an exemplar. All right. Okay. Um, well, all that I can think of at this stage, would you guys mind if I do some SQL with you? Yes. That's, that that's okay. You all right. Mind. I'm going to do some SQL with you. Um, I'm going to mute you at this stage. Right, so let's start with some SQL. We're kind of far off, so I'm just going to do some basics. Let me just get to something SQL. Let's try that particular one. And let's go. Treslin, Mason, Kahisu, you're all three with me at this particular stage. I'm going to unmute all three of you. Okay, sorry about this. We've got issues with internet and I've got serious issues with internet on my side as well. Mason, I can't seem to unmute you, but that's fine. All right, so Kahisu and Treslin, you guys can hear me. 
and I'm going to do some sequel with you. Some sequel. All right. So that is part of the sequel. So those are some of the buttons. Uh, the, uh, let me just go and uh, quickly fetch the question for you. Um, I must remember. Okay. Yeah. So we all missed the previous class. So it's, it's not a big issue at this stage. Let me just find uh, this particular one. Let me just see where I saved it because I saved everything that were desktop activities done right then desktop. So it's on the desktop somewhere. Activities done. Doo -doo. Yep. There we go. And that would be. Let me just find the correct one. Sorry. Hold on. So reopen. Activity three. Activity three brief. Nope. That, that's not it. That's not it either. So this is what I did with. Give me a quick minute. Reslin is here. Kahisu is here. Nathan is here. I'm just trying to open the PDF for you as well, so that you can see. Um, all right, it's not that one because a database there. All right, okay. Where it is? Um, valid code, valid cell activity. I don't think that that's not it either. Uh, let's just go and fetch it from the. Okay, so if you go down to this particular part, you go to tinyurl.com, and I think it's um, STEM lockdown. I think it's in geeks. Yeah, there you go. All right, you'll also find some of this data. There we go. That's IT lockdown there. And we are doing grade 12, and it's SQL exercise. So I'm just quickly going to download it. All that I, I've got the data, everything, but the missing at this stage is just the actual questions. So, all right, and then open it with that, and then we go. Okay, so here we go. That's SQL exercise, and then the go gym. All right, so there we go. All right, so this is um, some of the questions which we're going to do. Not all of them, because some of them are uh, maybe not for grade 12, but kind of this one. The director at the branch of gym wants to have an alphabetical list of all banned substances. Let's just go back and find the axis as well. Right, there we go. So there goes the access. I'm not sure how many we're going to get through at this stage, but let's go and do some SQL with, with, uh, with that. Right, so enable content, and there we go. Right, so um, for the database tools, what's important, of, obviously, is our relationships. And there it gives us some of your, our relationships for, the, uh, for those tables. So we've got three tables here. We've got and substances that would give us uh, what this question is all about. It's a gym and they want to get rid of people using banned substances in the gym. So in the one table, they've got all the banned substances. In the other table, they've got all their members. Their members got the email address, their gender, the date of birth and the day they join. Right. And then we've got the offenses. That is kind of the one um, that, that the can uh, or that the gym can impose on their members. Um, they can go and lay criminal charges. They can end their membership. They can suspend them. The way the relationship works is as this. Right. So let's take a look. So this is something interesting, which you might not have seen before. Everyone with me? Can everyone hear? I'm yes. just going to for now. Right. Okay, so if you've got a question, please ask me. So this is kind of a data structure which you might not be familiar with, but it's the very same. 
on the one side we've got our members and the other side we've got our offenses and then for a third table we've got our banned substances so when a member commits an offense we're going to from the one side going to put down who is the member there right and from the other side what substance he has been caught with so if we go back here to tbl offenses and we just open it there it gives us um, the member id on the one side and with which drug they were caught on the other side and what the punishment was which punishment did we give to them but for us in grade 12 you're only going to use either to that side or to that side that's all you're going to use you're not going to see that you have to go through all three you just need to go through either that one or that one and this is through sql and now this is the important one um on on the on the on the zoom group chat what is so important about these lines it says they one to many and it says they one to many so quickly on the zoom chat tell me why it's important or why those lines are important in sql well what do you think why would you why would you put those lines in there come quickly think 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 you're only going to work either with this one over here or you're going to work with this one over here but what does this line do can anyone tell me hands up ever anyone in the class treslin mason mason is there with two kahiso is also there do you do you think um you can tell me what those lines are for just think about the members and the offenses well what is the what is what is the message that this table is giving you here because it's giving you a message it says there a member can have more than one offense so a member here can we can have criminal charges here we got a member and we laid criminal charges against this particular member here we've got a member and his membership was ended here we've got a member this was suspended here's another one suspended so that's what these things are telling us it tells us that we can take a look from the members and we can uh, they can have multiple offenses then they can uh, the, the offenses can have multiple instances of different of of different um banned substances so that's important. Okay, so let's quickly go take a look at question one. Um, I've got my Delphic and I've got the button one underscore one. Right, so this is kind of what you're going to do. But the best for me is always to look through here. So the question is, uh, if I can find the question, here we go, sorry. The director at one of the branches of the gym wants an alphabetical list of all the banned substances with the classification right so if we're going to go through this whole process i always tend to go back here to this thing so what is the question that uh, that they want there they want uh wrong one let's just get back to the correct one um there we go let's just uh, let's go put that up there right want an alphabetical list of all banned substances so where do we get the substances we get the substances here so it's just going to go over one one uh, one um, table so it's not a problem so we don't need to have that in there right so they want a alphabetical list of all banned substances with their classification if we go around here with their classification here's banned substances with the uh, um, with their classification interesting to note is they want an alphabetical list of all the banned substances so if i go back to my delphi they've kind of done something for us here we're going to select star which means we're going to select everything from and this is important from our tbl banned substances we only want a list of everything here together with their classification or their class so we want the description and we want the class we can also put in the substance id as well 
but it's important that you go and look at what is the name of the table and in this case it's description and class well it's tbl band substances so in my delphi and remember this code they're going to give you so it's not a problem so we're going to have there from tbl band substances so we're going to write the tbl band substances right so that's the first part so in our sql they're going to say right alphabetical list alphabetical which means in the description must be a b c d e so in here through the description there that one we need to order it by or sort it by sql is actually easy if you if you if you think about it um it's just three words you need to know select from where order by four or five words that's what that's what you need to know so that, that that's how easy sql is so we're going to say select star from tbl uh, tbl band substances because that's the name band substances of the table and then we're going to say order by and which field do we need to order by by the description field so we're going to say description and how do they want it they want it alphabetically so they want the a b c and so forth so if we go back to our coding so we can just leave it as that or we can say order by description a a c which stands for ascending which means a before c got it a before c a b c ascending right let's quickly take a look and run this and see how far we're going to get with this and there we go button one and there we go right so it gives us that is first and then all the a's then the b's then the c's let's see in our um question they give us a partial printout of a question right so that's important so that's the sequel part there right so it kind of looks the same for me so it says the substance id 25 26 one yeah that one works perfectly perfect perfect we don't have any form of problem ma'am moderator do we have any time left the the the, uh, the digital host please just do we have any time left we've gone through one question at this stage is that fine can i go until quarter two Yes. Yeah, please carry on until quarter two, yes. Right, thank you very much. Right, let's go, let's go. Yeah, right. Now, the director of the gym. Oh, interesting. We'd like to know the longest standing member in the database. So, the longest standing member. So, we're going to go here. So, we're going to look at the date of birth. So, that's very interesting. So, let's just go and sort it from oldest to newest. So, it should give us Elizabeth West. So that's, um, the, the, that's the answer that it should give us. So let's go and do, and do that. Now, they don't really say at this particular stage, um, well, in this case, it might be that there's uh, something different. Um, the longest, oh, sorry, apologies, longest standing member. So the date joined, the, 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 the date joined, not the birth date, apologies, it's the date joined. Okay, so let's go and do that particular one. Just back to this one. Uh, sorry, it is on date joined, right? Oldest. So 2000. So that would be Heather Campbell. That's how we're going to go and check ourselves. Just go through it and, and take a look here, especially if they ask for the, the oldest. All right, remember now with dates. Dates is different from the rest. The back end of dates are stored as a number. Remember the number from the 1st of January or 31, yeah, I think it's 31 December 1899 would be day zero. Then the 1st of January 1900 would be day one. So we have to go and look at the oldest date that there is. Right. Okay. Now, this is kind of an advanced one, um, but all I'm going to show you, uh, you would see in here, it gives you everything. I, I'll go and show you how to do that one. But actually, all that we're actually interested in is that part over there. That's the only part that we're interested in. So that's the only part. 
that we want to show. And now remember how dates are stored? They stored as a number, as a decimal. So let's get back to our Delphi here. Where did I now close? It? There we go. Right. So 2.1. Let's go there to 2.1. So I'm going to go and select the max. Or is it the min now? Because remember now how dates are stored. They're stored as a number from the 1st of January, 1900 is day one. So the minimum number would then be the oldest. Make sure, think about it this way. I'm just quickly going to run through Excel with you just to show you this particular one. Um, let's just, just to show you, just as a quick entry to show you the dates, how the dates are stored. So that's day one, day two, day three, this is day 4,000. Okay, if I'm going to format them, according to date it should give me um let's go there accounting date there we go so the first date or day one is 1900 so that's the second of january 1900 that's the third of january 1900 this is 1910 the the month is 12 and the day 13. so the oldest day around here would be the minimum value that would be the minimum value, the oldest day. So that's what we're interested in. So I would say I want to have the min from the date join. So I'm going to put the date join. That is very important. You need to know how these dates are stored. And no matter if it's Excel or Access, we, what is very important if we want the minimum date, that's the older state. That's the minimum value. I'm showing it to you in Excel. Axis is exactly the same. They use the exact same thing. So that's important that you know that particular part. So I'm going to select the min of date joined. So from which one? From TBL members. So I'm going to write there from TBL members. And that's it. So all it's going to tell me is the date at this particular stage. And there we go, button 1.2. So it gives me 200406. Let's go and see if that is correct. 200406, which is Heather Campbell. Right, so that's all you need to know out of that particular one. If you want to go and do as the question say, the question is kind of coming from another um, directorate in our country, you don't really need to have this part in for, for this part. You only need to know uh, around the day join. That is really important. That's all that you need to know. But for those of you that want to go there, it's what we call a nested SQL. Right. But we're not going to go there because we don't need to have to go there. Right. Okay, so display all the members that do not have any punishments. Oh, suddenly it gets very difficult very quickly. Okay, so let's go and take a look. Nine quarters of this stuff is how would you figure out how would you do it in Access? Display the, all the members that don't have any punishments. Okay, so if we go back to our relationships, here's our members. One minute left. One minute left. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, what you would do, you would do a thingy in there, which, uh, which is not in there. So, you, okay, ma'am, I'm just really literally, I want to show them this particular one. Um, okay, great. For those of you that's there, what you would do, you would, um, let's go, just go here. So you would say, select star from, and you would call your two table. TBL members and TBL offenses from TBL members, comma, TBL offenses, offenses. And now you would do that, that relationship, but that relationship would put a not in front. The relationship means where this one is equal to that one. So here we would say, and that's what we do with the relationship. We would say, put that one is equal to that one. So everyone that's in there and that's in there will have offenses. 
but by putting a not in front would, uh, would go and do the opposite. So there we would put in the relationship. All right. Um, I, we do apologize. We are way over your time. I am sorry there's only three of you left, but come back next time. Ma'am should be back. Uh, the internet's giving us all major issues today. But thank you very much, Grade uh, 12, for attending. We hope you're back tomorrow. And that's it. Thank you very much, host. Um, we can stop.